Hey, what is going on guys? I am the Explosive Gamer and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 commentary. So this is my thoughts on the beta and uh, how I enjoyed it actually. I did enjoy most of the beta. There was a lot of lag problems, but you know, it's a beta. They're not really prepared for release style stress. They were more less than that. So this is a little bit different, I guess. Throughout the beta, I kept hitting the set level caps that Chair kept putting in. So I hit 28, I hit 34, I hit 40, and then I hit 49 before the beta was over. I did enjoy 90% of all of that. There was some shitty games, it happens, but I did enjoy most of it. And leveling was super easy, so I'm hoping that the leveling system, the length between levels, is slightly length, length lengthened. That's the, right, that's the right word? Anyway. Elongated, maybe. That, that just sounds sexual but whatever make it longer between levels i that's what i'm hoping for because i want to be able to play the game a little bit more without getting bored from what i played all the specialists were really fun to use battery i really did enjoy and i did do good with when i first unlocked her but i never got actually a live commentary in that was any good unfortunately so but you guys can probably see a lot of battery across youtube so that's okay the final specialist specter I was expecting to be extremely overpowered with his knife and shit, but he was surprisingly weak. His knife was very counterable. If someone came at you with it, if they weren't directly on you, they can still lock on you and come at you, which I did to people a lot. But if the person you're trying to attack is paying attention, they can shoot you before you get to them. So counterable, yes less fun to use when that sort of stuff happens from what i've used all the weapons are super fun all the assault rifles i did enjoy using the man of war and the m8 are my like i predicted my two favorite assault rifles the xr2 came out of nowhere and i did really like that too i do like burst weapons so that's probably why the shiva op is fuck with uh, high caliber you could one shot headshot people which was fucking amazing from the smgs Really, the only one that I've used that was worthwhile was the Razorback. The Cuda was okay sometimes, but the, the Razorback was too OP. That shit could combat assault rifles at assault rifle ranges and beat assault rifles, which was a little bit bullshit, but things can be tuned. The Razorback is one thing that needs to be nerfed. Either added recoil or the range, da like the damage drop off needs to be lowered a lot. From the snipers I use, the Locust is really fun to use. I'm not a good sniper, but I could do okay with it. Dracon was pretty much the dragon of with less recoil, which was really fun to use too. I didn't do so well with it, but 20 rounds in the magazine, you could kind of kill some people. Then there was the PO6 charge burst sniper, which was odd. When I used it, it was challenging, but like not like crappy challenging and you hate it, but fun challenging because you had to time everything perfectly to kill people. And if you hit two of the three bullets, you wouldn't kill them. They'd be really close, but you wouldn't kill them. The LMGs, both the BRM and the Dingo were really cool. The BRM was the better of the two, I'm pretty sure, because it hit like a truck. It was like the Man of War, the way it shot and how it felt. It just had 75 rounds in the magazine, so that just made it way better. The Dingo had 60 in the magazine, did a lot less damage per shot, and had a high rate of fire, so it took 6 or 7 shots to kill, for me anyway. I know I saw the people who were killing in like normal SMG ranges, and just hip firing and beating SMGs, which is really surprising to me. The score streaks. The score streaks were fun as fuck. I did love the raps, the hater was really good, the wraith when it was working for me was really good. And by what I mean when I was working, I when I unlocked it, I used it for a couple games. I went to change it to something else, and it said it wasn't unlocked, which is weird. So I kind of just got rid of a unlock token out of nowhere. So whatever, beta glitch. The Guardian, I got a lot of points off of using that. The care packages did often give you good score streaks. The Talon is awesome. I do love that thing. It's like the Dragonfire, except way better. It, it's just way better than Dragonfire. I love it. That, that, that kill streak was awesome. Got me tons of points. The Rolling Thunder is the worst kill streak out of all of them, I think. Mainly because of how slow it is. If it was faster over the map or was when you called it in, it was almost instant when it came in, you, it would be a lot better. Because normally when you call it in, the entire team's there. Then a couple spawns, which is later it comes in and... and hits your entire team and does nothing maybe kills you and that's it but also you can look up into the sky and dodge it it gives also my friend found this out unknown he found out that if you shoot it, you can get 150 points i think for shooting it down so you, that's a ton of points for the enemy team you're really giving them the black hat 
the black hatch is OP as fuck right now. Although it still takes two to take out or to control kill streaks, it you can steal wraiths and haters, which yes is good I guess, but it should destroy them if anything. It should like just get rid of them completely instead of giving them to the other team, like because. I've had my Wraith hijacked, and that shit wrecked my team as soon as the other team got it, so that's not so good. Anyway, that's most of my complaints, I guess, or praises. So, out of the beta, I am pretty sure I'm going to pay a over, a, up to $100 for the game if I can get that much. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on Black Ops 3. Maybe tell me in the comments section what you thought of the beta. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.